Uh, hello, I'm Dr. Sana Khan. Uh, we're here today with uh, Mr. Jim Mathis. Uh, I have known uh, Mr. Mathis for over 20 years now. Um, I've been um, at his lectures, his seminars. Uh, he teaches all over the country, uh, particularly when it comes to personal injury. Uh, certainly considered one of the experts uh, in the country in, on this topic. Um, I have learned a lot from him over the years. Uh, I'm in a sense a student of his um, and uh, we're just very fortunate to have him here with uh, his many many years of experience. Uh, Jim, thank you so very much for joining us today. Mm, thank you for inviting me. Absolutely, it's a pleasure. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself first before we get into the different topics. Okay, um, I was a farmer, actually not far from here, San Bernardino. That's where I grew yams and sweet potatoes. Left that industry and uh, went to college and started up uh, with State Farm Insurance. And I worked with State Farm Insurance for a long period of time. And then I uh, left State Farm and went to work with Allstate Insurance Company. Worked with Allstate Insurance Company until 2001. And when I left Allstate Insurance, then I started my own uh, businesses to help lay, uh, level the playing field for doctors, lawyers, but mostly for the public. And that's when I started up all the different companies that uh, I now participate in. So you teach uh, and you give lectures all over the country. Uh, all over the world. All over the world. Um, what, uh, generally speaking, what topics are you uh, teaching? Uh, it, it varies, depends on the audience that I'm speaking to. If I'm speaking to lawyers, I talk about the legal uh, mechanisms of submitting, presenting, settling uh, claims, litigating the claims, resolving those to the best interest of their clients. If it's doctors, chiropractors, physical therapists, uh, MRI facilities, then I talk about the medical side and how to communicate that best with the insurance industry and how to start the claims off effectively and properly execute those claims throughout uh, the entire treatment protocol. If I'm talking to insurance people, I talk to them about how to manage insurance claims, how to uh, effectively review, analyze, and understand the claims that they're getting. So it, it depends on the audience that I'm speaking to. So you really have a triangle. Um, you have the insurance companies, you've got the doctors, you have the attorneys, and then you have the patient that's in the middle or the client, for, that, as the attorneys would say. Um, do you find that there's a disconnect between the three parties uh, <laughs> regarding the patient? Oh, absolutely. And, and uh, it's a great way to put it. It is a triangle. And unfortunately, it's a, in the community of that triangle, there is a complete disconnect in language, in communication, in terms that they use. But they speak English, all of them. <laughs> well, not necessarily. <laughs> in fact, you know, often I tell chiropractors, it's as if chiropractors are, are speaking French and insurance companies are speaking German, and lawyers are speaking Japanese because none of them mm. communicate effectively and in the best interests of their clients. Nobody understands what everyone else is doing, whatever one else's part is in this concept of taking a claim from an accident with injuries to resolution. And that's why we end up with so many cases being litigated instead of just resolved. So it could be a significantly faster process if the three actually understood what the others needed. Oh, absolutely. Um, in fact, with the clients that I have, customers that I have, both doctors and lawyers, using um, our Sequoia Vision software for lawyers and doctors, we focus on getting that claim 
to the insurance industry within 90 to 120 days from the date of the accident. And using that process, you have to maximize your communication and communicate all aspects of that claim to each segment of that triangle. Uh, if you do that, everyone wins. Even the insurance industry wins. They hate to admit it, but they do win. And doctors win, and of course, most importantly, the patients win every time. Can you give us an example of a certain type of disconnect? Oh, the between... yeah. The first disconnect you see, or at least what I see across the country, and even in other countries throughout the world, is that physicians don't diagnose. They don't intake their patients properly from head to toe. They focus, for example, chiropractors will focus on uh, cervical thoracic and lumbar injuries and the injuries that they are most familiar with. Prior to about five years ago, the maximum injuries we were getting diagnosed by chiropractors on a regular basis was four. And you know why it was only four, right? They were focusing on the certain parts? Or... There were only four slots for injuries on the old oh. hip before. Oh. <laughs> so every chiropractor was diagnosing four injuries, and that's it. Game over. Now, with the CMS 1500, we have 12 opportunities if they just use the CMS 1500, but we're not even getting 12 injuries diagnosed.